Welcome to the Cabin Arcade. This brief video will give you some further instructions on how to use the Cabin Arcade. On the right side, there's a power button. If you simply click it once, this will turn on the arcade computer as well as the 43 inch screen TV. Give it a moment, it will load up and actually launch this video. Once past the introduction video, you'll see Big Box the front end with all your categories and games to choose from. The arcade control panel includes buttons for four players. The red set is for first player, blue is second player, green is player number three, and yellow is player number four. Toward the top, you'll see admin buttons for pause and exit. And then you'll also see your coin back or start option select. On the front of the control panel is where you'll turn on each player as needed prior to launching the game. Simply click the colored button and it lights up showing that it's on. Do this in order of first, second, third, and fourth, and only select the buttons needed for the number of players that are gonna play the game. Use the joystick to maneuver to the appropriate category. You can use the A button as well as the Start button to choose the category, and then select the appropriate game, also using either Start or A to enter the game. Use B or back to back out of the game back to the categories. Selecting Popeye, we hit A to enter the game, and you'll see the game loads up. Most of the arcade games require that you insert coins to play. Simply click the black coin button to add credits to the game. Select the player button to start the game. To pause or exit the game, use the top admin buttons. Press the pause button to be able to stop the game at any point. Within the pause categories, we can see high scores, we can save the game for later, or load a previous game, or exit the game. I'm going to select the resume button so I can show you how I can select the exit button to go back to the game list, fully exiting the game. The pause and exit buttons don't work on more modern games like Steam or Xbox games. Here's Tekken 7 and you'll see that if I hit pause or exit, nothing happens. Just like any other Xbox or Steam game, the way that we exit that game is by hitting the start button. Simply click the start button to find the main menu and then navigate to the main menu and follow the prompts to be able to fully exit the game. Once you find the true exit, the game will close and you'll return back to the game list. Let's go into pinball to see some of the additional buttons we have for pinball games. Once you select the game, pinball buttons are found on the side panels. It includes flipper buttons as well as nudge buttons and a red launch ball button on the front. Use the top buttons for flippers and the bottom buttons for nudge. Here you see I'm launching the ball and I'm using my left flipper buttons and nudge buttons. Always try using first the pause or exit button to exit a game. As you can see pinball, it works. The exit brings me back to the games list. We've categorized all the games that you can play more than one or two players. Four player category allows us to get into old games like The Simpsons or my favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here we have the newest Turtles game, Shredder's Revenge. One thing to note with these newer games, it does take time for it to process and load. These were purchased games on Steam, so you can see that it's loading Steam in the background. Give it a few moments. This is four times speed, and it could take up to 15, 20 seconds for a game to load. Once loaded, select how you want to play the game. You'll see that the control panel and joysticks appear to be Xbox controller. Follow the prompts and click the appropriate buttons to be able to maneuver through the game. And because we have four joysticks, you can see that we can play four players on our Turtles game. And Shredder's Revenge actually lets you play six players. So you can use the optional USB ports on the very front to use the plug-in Xbox controllers to, to play up to six people on this game. Every once in a while, because this is a computer running the arcade, you may get stuck. Go back to the power button 
and instead click the small little dot button right below. Click it once and the computer will automatically restart. There you go, all fixed. In many of the old arcade games, the joysticks were four-way joysticks. Games like Burger Time, you can use the orange four-way joystick and the associated buttons to the right, which are A and B buttons, to be able to play these old classic games with a joystick just like the arcade, with directions of up, down, left, and right. Some console games require that you use either the left joystick or the D-pad to maneuver. For example, here Pikachu, I'm not able to maneuver back and forth. By simply turning on or off the button on the front next to your player button, by turning this on, you can see now I can move Pikachu. In several of the games, you may want to use the white trackball as a mouse. For example, in PGA Tour, I can use the trackball and the front buttons one and two as mouse click left and mouse click right to play the game. The arcade is built with six inch speakers as well as an amplifier internally. To really pump up the volume, you can either use the TV controller or buttons three and four on the very front to turn the volume up or down. Speakers are really powerful, so we'd recommend not increasing above, say, one third the total volume available. Finally, when you're done playing, you can turn off the arcade cabinet with one button the same button you turned it on, just click it once and it will automatically turn off the screen as well as shut down the arcade computer. That's it. You're ready to enjoy the arcade cabinet. Have fun.